Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to resolve multiple matching contacts. So many of you may have seen this in your inbox where it says multiple matching contacts. This happens when more than one of your contacts share a phone number or email address. So it comes up this way with the title multiple matching contacts. If you see this in your inbox, you can click on that title and it opens up this manage multiple matching contacts window for you. Now you'll see that it shows you what the contact information is that is shared between these two contacts. And you'll see that you have two options. Setting a name is something that you might do if these are two members of the same family. For example, if the parent and the child were both listed under the same phone number, but they're different people, so you want them to have different contact entries. The merge contacts option is something that you would be more likely to use in the case that these actually represent the same person and you have multiple contact entries for that person. This may have happened for a number of different reasons, possibly the way contacts were imported, or if you are syncing contacts from Elation or Hint, sometimes you end up with duplicates. So this is going to allow you to merge them if they are the same people. So let's pretend for the sake of demonstration that these are the same person. So let's click on merge contacts. Let's you know these are the two you're merging. You can view them from here to see their contact card. And when you close that, it takes you back to this view. I'm going to say preview merge. So here it tells me information that requires review. Does the following fields conflict and require review? Name. So the things that it will call out here at the top are primary fields within the contact. If you have custom fields that are part of your contact, it will keep both. So here we see the name is different and you'll see that it has chosen the name uh, Michael Jordan, which in this case is the contact entry that has existed longer, the older entry. So I'm going to say this is the correct name. I'm going to leave this as the date of birth. I'm going to change one of these phone numbers so that they aren't both listed as mobile. Maybe I'm going to say this is the work number. Of course, if you're not sure, you can always, you know, go back and change this at a later time. And when I go down here, you'll see that it's combined all of the contact tags. It's kept the note that existed before. And now you see a new custom field called merge history that shows you the previous entries that have been merged. So none of that information is going to be lost. So we're going to say complete merge. Now it's going to show me the new contact entry that I've created. When I close this, you'll see that that name now appears on the conversation title. Okay, so that's one way that you can do this. Now, if you want to handle all of your multiple matching contacts at once, you can see them all by going to Contacts, All, clicking on this More dropdown, and you'll see the option for multiple matching contacts. Now, this interface, you'll notice, has three tabs. You see Needs Resolution, those are multiple matching contacts that have not been resolved. You see Named, these are cases where a name has been given to a group, and you see Merged. So if we click on Merge, you'll see that we just merged Michael Jordan. Now, under Needs Resolution, you'll see that these are grouped according to 
the contact information that they currently share. So for example, let's say these two Jonathan entries are the same, the same person. So we're gonna merge them. We're gonna go through the same process we went through before. And here you see it did not tell us that there was conflicting information. There's no conflicting information here for it to call out. You see under custom fields, this merge history here. We're gonna complete that merge. You'll see that that also disappeared from your list of needs resolution, and it now exists in your merge list. All right, let's set a name. So let's say that this is a family, and we wanna set the name for this group. When you go to set the name, it will show you the preview of what this will look like when it comes up in your inbox in the future. So for example, here we're gonna call this the Perkins family. And you'll see that in the inbox, it's going to show up as Joe or three others. We're gonna save that. And again, it disappears from here and you're gonna see it under named and it will show you all of the identities there. Now something you're gonna notice under named is that you still have options here. You could change the name or you could choose to merge them instead. If you look under merged, you're gonna see that there are not options other than viewing. Once you have merged, you cannot unmerge. So please be aware of that You know, as you're doing this. None of the information is lost. You're still seeing it in that custom field of merge history, but it can't be undone as an action. All right, so let's do one more merge here. Let's say these three are the same. Let's see what happens. Ah, so this is one of the cases where we can't merge them can see that more than one of them has a pending invite. So it's not possible to merge them right now. You would need to cancel the invite for one of these. You're also going to find that if you have two secure contacts, you will not be able to merge those. You also will not be able to merge if you see that both contacts are linked to Alation or to Hint uh, because it's not possible for one contact to be linked to multiple charts. So if you try to merge those, it will also give you an error message. Um, here you can see many of these are linked to Alation and many of them have pending invites, but I could still set a name for this group um, as the friendly family. And when I save it, you'll see under named that this whole group has been named this way. So they can be named even if they have these conflicting connections, but they can't be merged. All right. So happy merging and naming and please let us know what questions you have about this or what comes up as you're trying this out all right enjoy